Welcome to another online Personals Watch CEO interview today. We're with the COO of Mambu, Gloria Diaz. Welcome to the interview, Gloria. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> nice to see you again. And it's our first interview with you, of course, so I'd love to capture your founding story. How was Mambu started? Uh, we have an Eastern service that is very popular in Russia called Mamba Are You that they has been working th since uh, 2004 and we are so successful uh, in the Russian market that they, it constantly attracted uh, millions of people from other countries or maybe Russians living in other countries and some of them contact us like quite frequently I would say <laughs> saying hmm you have such a wonderful service I wish I could have the same in my country. We realized that it was the only dating service in the world that could keep users 30 minutes online per visit. And then we thought like, oh, okay, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe it's a, it's a very good idea. I wish we'd make it international. Now you define it as a social dating site, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so what is a social it's dating right. site? How is it different from an internet dating service? How would you define it as a... Uh, social dating. For me, a social dating website is any kind of system that allows an individual to meet up with other people in a social atmosphere or in a social environment. And for us, uh, we just like to provide uh, our users with the chance of meeting their other half or the person they're going to love forever or maybe for a few weeks <laughs> among the network of friends that they have. Or maybe hmm. find someone that belongs to the same peer group or the same reference group or just have the same social values. Uh, social aspects are very influential in, in real life in dating, so we had to repeat that uh, us online. So let's get into privacy. Very important aspect, of course, with traditional yeah. dating services because they don't tend to, you really can't. Beyond what the user that decides to disclose, that's it. You can't tell somebody's name, you can't see their network of friends. But with social dating, it seems like that barrier, that level of privacy is coming down, and that's okay um, for a lot of people. But tell me, what, how do you protect privacy on Mambu? How, uh, wh where's the line of privacy on Mambu? Well, privacy is one of our main concerns because we understand that our users has, have to feel relaxed, have to feel good to meet new people, and they, they just want to show the information that they, they are fine with, you know, the information that they, they wouldn't mind to share with other people. So that's why we, we have spent a lot of time thinking about how to protect uh, our users' privacy. We're very clear in, in terms of uh, privacy policy. We never share our users' data with any third party. One of our main functionalities is real users. So basically, the 90% of our users confirm they are real people and they are not fake uh, mm. profiles because they they sent us a message or they, we sent a code to their cell phones so they could activate them and then we, we know that it's a person uh, with a real phone number. Well, how many members do you have now and how many are active on Mambu? We have now 300,000 users. We have a, a rate of like two thousand users registering per day. Great. Um, so you advertising or not advertising? Uh, we, we're starting to, to advertise but uh, the main method is the uh, partnership. We also right now we're as even cooperating with other subscription dating websites uh, trying to attract other kind of, of users. Well, it's mostly free isn't it and then you have uh, tell us about your what do you charge for and what, what are the price points? Well, first of all, Mambu is a free online dating service. But then we realized that even when love is free, sometimes you want to get the attention of other person and you want it so bad that you want to make a special effort. So we have some little services that users can use just to, to get a bit more of attention. For example, one of our main services are are called gifts. So there are a few social dating services we could list, but there's one which is uh, you've um, had some a special interest and experience with them, and uh, they've, you actually share an investor, of course, in, with Finam. Finam also invested in Badu. So tell us how is Mambu differentiated? How is Mambu different from Badu? The main difference between uh, Mambu system and Badu is the social aspect because Badu focus uh, is much more social than Mambu. 
Badu is a social network to meet new people, while Mambu is an online dating service. So what have you learned from working with Mamba.ru? What have you applied from Mamba to Mambu? The main learning that uh, Mamba has given us in, in the last eight years is that we are not alone. Uh, we, we are a social tool, so we really depend uh, on, on the whole internet and socializing community. So that means that our users are everything. So we just listen to them and develop the service that they love. And where would you like to see Mambu in a year's time? Uh, we would like to see Mambu as the next uh, big thing. So when, whenever we go to maybe to the Google Zeitgeist and review, okay, what, what happened that last, last year in the internet that uh, was the next big thing, we want everyone to say, oh, okay, look, it was Mambu. Great. Gloria Diaz, you're the COO of Mambu. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Thanks, Mark. It's always a pleasure.